Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about tires, so that conversation is coming up. Yes, Teslas are EVs and they run on batteries, but they still are cars. So EVs and ICE cars do have a lot of things in common, including the brakes, suspension, tires. So today I wanted to give you some info on tires because I keep seeing posts online about tire repairs, tire maintenance, and tire replacement. So while on the surface this makes sense, sure, Tesla manufactured the car, so why shouldn't they do, you know, tire maintenance or fix a flat or something like that? But like I just mentioned, EVs and ICE cars are both still cars, so not everything needs to be done by the manufacturer. Tires are definitely something that can be done without the manufacturer involved. So there are specific businesses, usually called tire shops, that can do, you know, or focus on fixing tires, replacing them, things like that. So there's big companies like Big O, Wheelworks, Les Schwab, America's Tire. Now while I'm all for taking my Tesla to Tesla for something like a battery issue or a software issue, there's, for tires, definitely never taking it there because uh, number one reason is price. I think it's pretty well known that Tesla is not cheap when they have repairs that you need to pay them for. And the prices they charge for some of these things is ridiculous, to be honest. So if I need new tires, I'm definitely taking it to a tire shop because they're probably going to do a better job at mounting or repairing the tire anyway. So my point is, if you have a flat or you need your tires rotated, take it to America's Tire because they're going to do a better job anyway. Now I know in some situations, maybe mobile service or roadside assistance can help you on the spot. And if it's worth it to you to not deal with it and just pay them while you're, you know, stuck on the road to get it fixed and get back on the road, then that's totally worth it to you. And if it's totally worth it up to you, then go ahead and do that and don't worry about it. But if the car needs to be towed anyways for a flat or whatever, I'm definitely taking it to America's Tire over Tesla. And here's why. One is better customer service. So I think it's pretty well known that Tesla does not value customer service very highly, but price as well. So did you know that America's Tire will fix a flat for you for free, even if you've never been there before? They'll also rotate your tires for free for same thing if you've never been there before. And they do this as a customer service service type thing, so basically they can win you over later and hopefully they can get your business down the line. I would say in the very beginning it worked on me because now I only take my cars there for tire things. and. Even still, every time I've been there, their customer service is really good, and they do a really good job of taking care of our cars. And of course, their pricing is always competitive as well, so that's obviously important to everybody, and they, you know, match up in that category as well. So while Tesla may get the job done, it's not going to be cheap, and on top of that, they may do a sloppy job because it's Tesla, they have so much demand, and there's so many people they need to service, and they're probably just going to try to get the car in and out as fast as they can. So I also like to think that taking my car to America's Tire helps alleviate some of that pressure, plus you get the better customer service anyway. I think this is the best place to get your tire maintenance done, to be honest, and a lot of people online have said the same thing, that they do a good job and they have a really good customer service. And this is not a sponsored video, I just really like them because they do a good job, and that you don't have to take your car to Tesla for everything. I'm only taking my car to Tesla if I really need to for a Tesla-specific issue, as mentioned, the battery or maybe software. Do you do the same, or do you just automatically take your car to Tesla for any issues? Let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching.